Good evening. Hey, Seb. I guess where you are, it is evening. Yeah, um, it is in I'm, England. Yeah, that's what I was just told. I'm sorry to, oh, look who you've got there. Yeah, but hey, that's those, the are, those, those are hard to come by, so you're fortunate. Yeah. That's cool. I apologize for being uh, late. I misunderstood Eastern time versus mountain time where I am, and uh, I pre appreciate you hanging in so we could chat. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, <laughs> the clocks um, in the U.S. went forward back on Sunday. Oh, okay. So um, you got some questions for me? Um, yes, I do. But first, should we have a snapshot? Oh, we can do that. Sure. Um, oh, all right, I'll press the button now for you. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. All right, Thumpo and Thumpo Jr. <laughs> awesome. This, this one I got from um, Euro Disney Palace about um, almost a week and a half ago. Oh. And the same goes for this here jacket. Oh. Oh, yeah. Great. That would be suitable for the occasion. So do you have, in England, is there a Disneyland or a Disney World? Well, I do have a few Disney-related stuff in here, uh, like this here, um, Mickey Mouse. Um, yes, I see. I can, I can see all that. But I meant, is there a, a, an amusement park that is Disney? In oh, uh, yes, there is. Uh, it's in Euro Disney Palace in France. That's the one. Oh, Okay, that's not so far away for you. No. Okay, let's get down to the questions that I've prepped up for you. Okay, I'm happy to answer them. Okay, let's start off with Disney turning 100 years old on October 16th. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Disney memory growing up years after doing Thumper? Um, well, besides the movie Bambi, and and the fact that I was uh, involved with it as as Thumper, um, a couple of other movies I remember and enjoyed at the time. One was Fantasia, which is sort of unusual. I don't know if you have seen that. I've seen uh, it. Yeah, and then the other was Dumbo. I love Dumbo. That too. But um, and as far as the more recent. Uh, movies that Disney has done, uh, I have to admit that I have not kept up with them uh, as much as the older movies. Uh, well, what can I say? Um, Disney is great at making something new, um, bringing 2D animation um, into 3D animation using the computer. Right. That's that has like uh, wowed um, um, children and people of all ages. That that that's true. There's still nothing. The, the they haven't been able to do on the computer the the kind of original animation which, when you realize that each frame was hand hand drawn, is is just incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, it's why it took four years to uh, to make to make the movie. Yeah, yeah, I know what that feels like. Hmm. Anyways, moving on to the next question. Okay. Uh, after doing the voice work as Thumper, um, your life um, took a very different approach. And if things had been different for you in the past, would you have liked to, would you like to, uh, to have stayed a voice actor? Or was this not, was, was that not for you? Well, when I when I was young and had finished working on the movie, um, my father and my family had already moved to Tucson, Arizona from Los Angeles. And um, so I really wasn't involved in, or asked to, to whether I wanted to continue or not. Um, it was just my life, we moved. And uh, from then on, I had a very fun but n normal childhood. Uh, lived out in the countryside outside of Tucson. My father was a professor at the university. And uh, 
was sort of a free range kid. I rode my bicycle around. In those days, Tucson was relatively small compared to what it is now. And I rode rode my bike to a two room schoolhouse. Uh, then I then I rode um, um, a uh, I have my sister had a boyfriend who went off to the Second World War and had a horse that he didn't know what to do with. So he gave it to my sister. And unlike most girls, she really wasn't interested in in riding. So I for one year of school, I rode that it was my horse, uh, in essence, and I rode it to school uh, about two and a half, three miles on a dirt road to get to this small school that I was in. And there was a stable across the street. So I'd drive in and leave, leave the horse with, with the stable. I didn't have to unsaddle it or anything. Went to school and the end of school, I was ready for me and I'd ride home. It was pretty Mm -hmm. special time. Anyways, thank you, Peter. I hope you stay safe and and I hope you soon sometime. Well, it's been very nice talking with you. Did I answer all your questions or have you got one more? Um, yes, I think you have. Okay, well, it's my pleasure. I hope you uh, uh, have a great uh, rest of your day, although you're nearing the end of your day, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So um, take care. I will. You too. Okay, bye now. Okay, guys, if you like what you just seen, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications and check out my other videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.